Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on building a PDF viewer using Vue.js. First, we'll create a PDF viewer with PDF.js. PDF.js is an open source JavaScript library that allows you to view PDF files in your browser. Then, we'll build a PDF viewer using the PSPDF Kids Vue.js library. There are two main PDF.js wrappers which makes it easy to create a PDF viewer with Vue.js. They are the view PDF package and the PDF viewer package. We'll choose the PDF viewer package since it supports both view 2 and 3 unlike view PDF which only supports view 2 currently. You can build a PDF viewer using the PDF viewer package by the following steps. Step 1. Install the view CLI. Step 2. Create a fresh project and install the PDF viewer package. Step 3. Edit the app.view file to display a PDF. To work with Vue.js, you need to install the Vue CLI, which is Vue's standard tooling. You can check the version of Vue you are running by entering Vue followed by the version option. Now, create a fresh project with Vue Create and then enter the name of your project. When prompted, select Vue 3 from the list. Then, change to your project directory and install the PDF viewer package. Open the project directory in your favorite editor and add the PDF document you want to display to the public directory. Now, open the app.view file in the source directory and delete all its contents. Create a template tag and add the PDF element by passing the source attribute with the name of your PDF file. Furthermore, pass the page attribute with the number of the page you want to display. In the script tag, import and export the PDF component from the PDF viewer library. Save the file and run your project with npm run serve. You can now visit your app at localhost port 8080. The PDF viewer package is easy to set up and use but as you can see, it didn't give us many options to customize the viewer. We are only able to display the first page of the document and there is no way to navigate through the pages. Now let's go ahead and build a PDF viewer using PSPDFKit's PDF library. Follow these steps to build a PDF viewer using PSPDFKit's PDF library. Step 1. Create a fresh view project. Step 2. Install PSPDFKit as a dependency. Step 3. Copy the PSPDF Kit's web library asset to the public directory. Step 4. Add a component wrapper for the PSPDF Kit library. Step 5. Edit the app.view file to display a PDF. Create a new project with view create and change to the project directory. Add PSPDF Kit as a dependency with npm install PSPDF Kit and open the project directory in your favorite code editor. Create a JS folder in the public directory and copy the PSPDF kit's library assets into it. The library assets are located in node modules, PSPDF kit, dist, PSPDF kit lib. Moreover, Copy the PDF document you want to display to the public directory. To add a component wrapper, go to the component directory in the source directory and add the PSPDF kit container component. In the template tag, add a div element with the PDF container class. This will help us declaratively bind the rendered DOM to the underlying component instances data. In the script tag, let's define a view instance named PSPDFKit and create methods for mounting, loading, and unloading PDF files into the PDF container.
And finally, in the style tag, let's add the height of the container. Now save the component and open the app.view file. And once again, delete all its contents. This is how we'll be populating the app.view file. In the template tag, we have a file upload input and the PSPDF kit container component. In the script tag, we'll implement the handle loaded and the open document methods. We also have a data function that returns the PDF file property. Data keeps track of reactive states within the current component. It's always a function and returns an object. The object's top level properties are exposed via the component instance. Finally, in the style tag, we have styles for custom file input and there are some general styles for the app. Now, let's put everything together and run the app. You can now visit your app at localhost port 8080. You can open a different PDF file by clicking on the Open PDF button. With this, it's safe to say that open source view libraries are a viable option if you want to build a UI and features yourself. However, this can get complicated easily as you may not get the support you need. Opting for a commercial solution lets you focus on other areas of your business and move up the value chain. Hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. Thank you.